for brothers and sisters. So here we are on whatever day of the week it is, at whatever time of the day it is, and something extraordinary has just happened. And I've just rediscovered this book that was actually um, on my bookshelf. And this book, have you, read, have you read this book? Love Signs by Linda Goodman. I read this book when I was 16. I absolutely loved astrology more than life itself. I loved astrology. And I bought this book. And in this book, it speaks about twin flames. And when I was 16, I, I read this piece of writing about, about over a thousand times. I would like just read it over and over and over again. And I would read it every day. I don't know why, this writing. And I haven't seen it for years and years. Hello, Heather, darling. Love you so much. Mwah. Hi, Syrah. Spread the word, guys. Tell everyone I'm live. Go on Facebook. Go, Jen's live. This is going to be an amazing live. Totally spontaneous, amazing live. But, and I was thinking about this book recently, and I was like, oh, my God, I haven't read that piece of writing for so long. And I wonder how it would be now to read that piece of writing. And then, and, and then I realised this book is actually on my bookshelf, but I've only had my bookshelf for about a week, so... So happy, of course, you're live. I'm off today. Great. Right. Now, I'm going to read it, guys. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read you all the piece of writing that shaped who I am. Thank you, Heather, darling. I've got to find it first. I don't know where it is. Hold on. It's not the Taurus love mystery. It's after the Taurus. Oh, no, it's after that bit. I remember. It's all coming back to me now, guys. Yep, it's after that bit. And she says, no, nope, no, nope, before there, before there, before there, before there. Love sign combinations. Right, it's got to be here. It's coming up. It's got to be here. No, 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 no. This book is incredible. So also in this book, it goes through um, the birth, the astrological birth of the soul being born in Aries and then reaching old age in Pisces. Yes, to read something from our youth. Yes, yes, yes. So this book is amazing. So I've just haven't picked up this book for so many years, like a good 20, 25 years. And I've literally just saw it and I was about to read it. And then I was like, no, I'm going to I'm gonna make a video because I want to record this moment of me reading it. So, oh, I found it, guys. I found it. Oh, my God. We're ready. We're ready. We need more people. All right. Spread the word, please. Summer, spread the word. Hi, Tashi. Spread the word, hon. Spread the word, like, you know, like, this is epic, like, totally epic. Right, are we all ready for a transmission? Take a deep breath. A woman I know was recently in a state of emotional anxiety, desperately needing communication with the man she loved, a twin soul, who was out of the country... There was no way they could reach each other by phone or letter. One night, as she was lying in her bed in the dark, sensing his presence strongly, but frustrated at being unable to see, hear or touch him, she cried out loud involuntarily, Oh, why can't you hear me call you? Suddenly, the lamp on the desk across the room snapped on. At the same moment, a large paper daisy he had given her months before dropped to the floor. Astonished, she sat up in bed, stared at the lamp and the fallen daisy and spoke aloud again. If it really was you who turned on the light, can you give me a sign you're actually here in your astral body by turning it off now? Instantly, the switch on the lamp audibly clicked off, leaving the room in darkness, then immediately snapped back on, filling the room with light. Before the incident, the lamp had been off for several hours, so this was no failure or of electrical power. There was obviously no scientific explanation for what occurred, neither the bulb nor the switch was loose, and there was nothing wrong with the connection of the socket. All this was thoroughly checked. As for this daisy, it had remained securely in its place, fastened above a picture on the wall for many months until that unexpected 
moment. Such miracles are easily explained by the laws of metaphysics. The woman's twin soul had felt her need and answered it, guided astrally by both their higher selves from the silvery blue cord connecting them. A thread of light actually visible to the physical vision of trained psychic or sensitive. We learned that he was anxiously trying to meet to reach her at exactly the same hour. Those who love faithfully and who understand how to use the cord of electrical energy that binds them together don't need Western Union, the post office or the telephone company to communicate. They're always in, in touch through their... Oh my God, this is really powerful because I've like now I know who my twin flame is. I haven't actually read this since I've known who my twin flame is. Just put it on Facebook. Oh my God. They're always in touch through their Astral Eastern Union. There have been countless such occurrences between two people in all kinds of love relationships. Parent and child, close friends, husbands and wives and lovers. Okay. Where is that bit? Oh, I'm just going to read all of it. We still hear the shouts of science. Give us the facts, the facts, the facts. Astronomy and science, each unable to see the great metaphysical forest of knowledge through the trees of lower mathematics and physics, sands the meta. While metaphysics could explain so many mysteries, meta is a Greek word meaning simply beyond. Beyond the fiction of fact lies truth. Einstein was aware, yes, abstract our new, someday very soon in this dawning Aquarian age, the discovery of instruments sens sensitive enough to measure the tremendous energy of love's magnetic force field will demonstrate how its electrical impulses can interrupt nature's laws, but not adversely. Reverse gravity and also reverse the aging process through cell regeneration. Increase telepathic communion and cause many other miraculous manifestations, including conscious recall of former incarnations, which will finally convince skeptical science, yes, love can do all this if the desire is strong enough and the motive unselfish. Where enough faith and enough will are exerted, it happens every day. It has been frequently observed by witnesses of credibility that a 90 pound woman can lift the wheels of a two ton truck if her child is caught beneath it. A complete reversal of the laws of physics, but in absolute accordance with the laws of metaphysics law is far love is far more than an emotion or a feeling love is a positive electrical impulse science has not yet developed equipment del delicate or sophisticated enough to detect these impulses nevertheless they do exist scientists didn't believe in electronic radio waves either until they could be measured yet they were there all along as hg buckley wrote in the history of civilization in england according to the ordinary course of affairs a few generations pass away then comes a period when these very truths are looked upon as commonplace facts and a little later there comes another period in which they are declared to be necessary and even the dullest intellect wonders how they could have ever been denied during the weary search for one's twin soul, there will be many side trips, many relationships that at first appear to be genuine, then fade into disinterest and boredom. Even when the soulmate is at last discovered, she calls twin flame soulmate the same. Um, there are often many complications and testings of worthiness which cause temporary pain. Only in continually and consistently consistently practicing tolerance and forgiveness can the hurt be alleviated to return pain for pain only creates the future certainty of a like reaction of more pain through the workings of karma cause and effect it's getting really good guys there it's getting to to the like super Oh, I missed out some of it. It doesn't matter. I'm getting to. I'm getting to a very, very, very wonderful bit. The fabled search for the Holy Grail is a jewel quest. On a material or earth level, it concerns the actual cup from which the Nazarene drank at the Last Supper, claimed by the ancients to have been buried near the Druidic. Uh, where the Druidic priests descended from the Essenes held their mystic rites, its discovery imminent in the age of the water bearer. On a higher mystical level, the successful conclusion of the search for the Holy Grail is reached for each human at the time of reunion with the twin soul. For only when all lonely and separated twin souls are at last joyously re reunited will the pieces of life's jigsaw puzzle form themselves into a whole and complete picture within the universe. Legend whispers that it shall be during the dawning of the age of Aquarius, when the 14 pieces of the soul of Osiris scattered when his body was cut into 14 pieces by his brother Set, causing the Earth's first sunset, will come together in one man with all his scattered pieces whole. One man who will be reunited with his own twin soul Isis after millions of weary years of searching and countless uncomprehending incarnations spent together in the past. At the same time, hold on, 
Thank you for sharing this. It's great, isn't it? It's getting freaking awesome. I know. I know. <laughs> I've got but this bit one. Oh, my Lord. It sometimes happens that a man and a woman meet and instantly recognise the other half of themselves behind the eyes of each other. The eyes have been rightly called the windows of the soul. Even their voices are familiar to each other like a remembered chord of music. These are two who immediately sense the unalterable fact that they have been, are and must always be one. Even though they might have fought against their fate for centuries and struggled in vain to escape their linked destiny. Almost from the first moment they meet and gaze upon each other, their spirits rush together in joyful recognition, ignoring all convention and custom all social rules of behaviour, driven by an inner knowing too overwhelming to be denied. Inexplicably, often without a word being spoken, they know that only through each other can they hope to find wholeness on all realms of consciousness. Only when they're together can they both be complete on every dimensional level. Somehow they feel immortal and they are. For this level of love can bestow the beginning knowledge of the attainment of several centuries longevity in the same flesh body on the earth plane as well as the accomplishment of changing flesh bodies the temples of the soul in a fully conscious state without the coma called death that's like literally what happened to me isn't that bad i read that book that is the door of attraction i read it and then it's like whoop, boom uh, in a fully conscious state without the coma called death, the solution to the problem of the overpopulation which rises to the mind as a result of such achievement by everyone on earth must wait till a forthcoming book. Don't know, she's sidetracked there, segued there. Yes, this speaks to my heart. Yes, darling Heather. I read, I read this over a thousand times when I, was, when I was a young girl. There was something about, like I knew my soul was, was profoundly coded for this that makes me feel quite emotional actually but like i knew because i was a young girl i could have been reading anything but i was reading this and i read it like a thousand times neither will i attempt to detail the origin and ultimate destiny of twin souls here since i've done so in another forthcoming book called goobers to be published in the near future but there is so much burning curiosity concerning the subject of soulmates or twin souls it bears some explanation here however incomplete so buckle up everyone you were being prepared beautifully yes darling yeah but i remembered i remembered a man and a woman who are soulmates hardly need to speak the words I love you, knowing as surely as they do that they must belong to each other, whether in this present incarnation or due to karmic complications at the end of many more centuries. The words in the marriage ceremony, those which God hath joined together, let, let no man put asunder, refer to such as these. Yet this warning is unnecessary, simply symbolic ritual, for no man can break the tie between twin souls not even themselves nor can any energy in the universe the force that created them is all powerful and indestructible the bond may be weakened their final union and consummation delayed but they cannot be separated permanently there can be no end to the kind of happiness they may claim when they wish to do so on a timetable dictated by the free will choice of the higher angels of their own selves, the super consciousness or super consciousness of each. This kind of instant magnetic attraction is often called love at first sight, which is no accident of fate, but very real. It is more than curious coincidence that twin souls out of the whole huge world should be drawn together at the appointed time. The crossing of their paths has been predestined on a higher level of awareness. Certain spiritual energies are at work to bring about their meetings as surely as the migration of birds and the return of comets are governed by a similar universal law. They're coming together. Oh my God, I've got six people now. Guys, look, seven people. What's happened? Love has no impediment. I thought I've, there should be like a million people. Ooh, they're playing rugby across me. Noisy, aren't they? Noisy. The crossing of their paths has been predestined. Oh yeah, 
The crossing of their paths has been predestined on a high level of awareness. Certain spiritual energies are at work to bring about their meetings. Uh, <clears throat> when the time comes for twin souls to incarnate, they are sent to earth, clothed in flesh, in flesh. Again, the bodies being the temples of the soul. Though through particular time energy forces at the moment in earth time when certain planetary configurations create the proper conditions these time energy forces are electromagnetic in nature yet more complex than this none of us can control the eventual results of the causes we've initiated or set into motion in our past lives although we can control our reactions to the results such past causes bring into the present lifetime the free will to change these karmic events is processed by the higher self and we may attain such power by learning to tune into or communicate with the higher self but free will on a conscious level can only be realized in the future since in the ever moving stream called the present we are setting into motion through actions we currently initiate and through our reactions to past causes the future conditions we will inevitably meet as for which particular planetary influences in the nativities of two people reveal to an astrologer the indication that these are twins they are too intricate to explain in the book and must await another volume plans concerning this and other subjects um but assuming that such planetary influences are present in the respective charts of lovers a destiny is revealed in which the two will meet involuntarily and cannot be separated even through the experience of death except for imp temporary intervals of earth time in the present life for the purpose of karmic soul testing oh my giddy aunt during these periods of being apart, however brief or however extended, both persons are lonely, empty and complete. On some existential level, I would say that the journey to wholeness, you, you, you don't experience that. You don't experience um, lonely, empty and complete. But there is an existential void within your consciousness where, where you know at that at that place of arrival that 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 you're not you're not meant to be alone it's like we are all one and there is a, another soul ready to rock that that height do you know what i mean that realm with you um so there there is a very very deep love of it it's like the, it's a sweet longing it's a sweet longing we have that sweet longing like uh, you know it, it depends how you frame it isn't it how do you frame it? She's framing it as um, periods of being apart. However brief or however extended, both persons are lonely, empty and incomplete. I would say yes on some level. I would as my personal general experience, but not on a, on a, on a, you know, an, on an essential level. It's like on a very unconscious, sort of like an unconscious itch that, that somehow you know it's very hard to put it into words but but i do relate to that yet even throughout any such temporary spaces in their togetherness there's a constant pulsing astral communication between them for even then they are linked by a cord that connects them over the miles Those who love deeply and who are truly mated with the other half of themselves have no desire to initiate wars or dominate others. As the devotion of Romeo and Juliet, even in death, had the power to dissolve the enmity and reconcile the differences between the warring Capulets and Montagues, so shall the ecstatic blending of all twin soul lovers have the same power to unite mankind and womankind, all earthlings in permanent peace and God, Pax et Bonum. It is not a coincidence, nothing is, that the man who initiated at least the beginning gesture towards peace in the Middle East and what Sadat is a genuinely happy mated man with a woman by his side who reflects the goals of his higher self as is mentioned begin of Israel who at least initially welcomed the gesture in an equal spirit of goodwill and sincerity nor was it a coincidence that Hitler was a lonely unloved man Jesus the carpenter from Nazareth he was not alone he was not unloved by women although it is only a beginning Scorpio Reverend William Phillips fine and meticulous research book the Secu sexuality of Jesus to be published in 1979 under the title did Jesus love sheds needed enlightenment upon that that sounds like a good book 
uh, upon that long hidden mystery of Jesus and his own twin soul, for he was only a man, albeit a highly evolved one, and she only a woman, even as you. The doctrine of divinity, like the doctrine of patriotism, is a negative vibration, placing one man, one woman, one nation above all, all. Jesus the Christ, yes, he was more than human, a different entity, but no different, no more superhuman or divine than each man and woman may rise to become during those two rare and brief periods of tuning into the individual superconsciousness. Amar the Christ, Menachem the Christ, Ruth the Christ, Robert the Christ, Thelma the Christ, Michael the Christ, Susan the Christ. Christ is simply another term for the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit which can enter into anyone. We are all sons and daughters of God and of his mate, his own twin soul. How could our creator not have his, his counterpart? The polarity of... Uh, positive negative masculine feminine exists in all dimensions on all levels of awareness within the galaxies of heaven and upon the hell on earth as it is presently manifest jesus himself never claimed he was divine what i have done you can do and more go thou and do likewise be it done unto you according to your faith these are not claims of spiritual exclusivity only reminds us that what was being demonstrated were manifestations of the divine within each of us miracles we could all perform so through not without sacrifice so there you go, guys. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Um, not on and on. It's in another page. So how are we all doing? Jesus, the son of Thoth. Yeah, sounds about right. So here we go. Boom shakalaka. This is the book. And I think what I'm going to do, when I open up my membership, I can't wait to open up my membership. because I've. So basically, I'm just going to tell everyone. What's... I feel like I'm in a period of healing from grief from Liam basically and um I'm taking a really 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 massive step back from all not like doing any courses or offerings or anything because I'm you know really really um just have to give my you know I have to give myself the time to process the shock because I there's still a part of me that's really really deeply in shock so yeah that's um i can't remember what what the whole point of sharing with you oh yeah but i am the one thing i am actually really excited about is is launching my um this this membership essential acceleration it's going to be so cool we're going to like proper like get get you know get a structure together and we're gonna we're gonna create yeah because because that's what you need like while we're on this physical earthly plane there is a sort of like you know we're, we're playing with unlimitedness within within limitedness or or within a within a confine doesn't have to be called limitedness within a structure it's like it's both isn't it and so i think ultimately what we're going to be creating is is like a school that's what I'm, that's what i'm going to be creating creating an ascension school where everyone that joins the school is really really deep Deeply committed to their ascension process and ascension journey and wants to um, have it as a major major part of their life like they're, they're, there's nothing else to me apart from like but it's my my ascension experience of awakening is my whole life do you know what I mean and and it's like there can't be like a separation like sometimes I go and do 3d things and I do this and I I, I whatever that there, there has to be like this place where everything is like you you are all in all in to your spirituality that's who I want to be working with and I know that I attract the soul family of that level the ones that are all in you know so it's going to be amazing once we get like this is such a huge pool of people that know me and it's like whoever's going to come in now to this ascension school and um and it's going to be really, really interesting to watch these magical numbers as well. Like the first 144, the first 1,144. That's going to be amazing when we get to that, you know. And um, and, and just have it so that it, it's it's a space where we can apply the teachings and, and have support and have a conversation. Do you know what I mean? Because at the moment, we're all just kind of like dipping into Facebook and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be amazing. And I know I'm up for that. And, and maybe, look, you know, that's probably all I'm meant to be doing. It is all I'm meant to be doing. And what I'm meant to be doing is launching my courses and getting all these, like building up my community and blah, 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 whatever. I've been guided and been prepared to do the same thing, sweetheart. Woohoo. Hello, Simon Hinton. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, Ascension, Ascension School. Let's do it. I was born for this, guys. Literally, I was born for this. I was born to run an Ascension School, I swear. It's going to be massive. It's going to be, like, massivo. And we're going to be 
the beginning crew. Do you know what I mean? We're the ones. We're like the ground crew. We're setting the we're setting the tone. It's like the event is happening. I do feel that. I do feel there's a, it's like the energy of the event is happening, but but because there is a commitment and there's a promise from me to show up, there's a different level of exchange. Like we're going to we're going to really really get things moving. You've got to get things moving, aren't we? Do you know what I mean, guys? Yeah, I'm excited about that. That's the only thing I'm excited about is is um, like launching the Ascension School and um, working out the best way f for us to actually, you know, structurally facilitate that. And what it's looking like is that there is going to be an external platform, which is going to be Karcher. Who's this? Hi, Finn. You right? I'm doing a live. <laughs> coming to my life, doesn't he? Um... Oh my goodness. Oh my god, what was I just talking about, guys? I hope you get to travel too, Jen. I know. I, I know. I am. I've got I've got to travel. But the thing is, all like, everything I do is remote, isn't it, hun? I can I can still set up at Ascension School. And that's what's going on. I'm really, really excited about Ascension School and I'm really, really also excited about launching my courses. I've I've created these courses for um to train retired people to become life coaches. Because retired people, like elderly people are so wise and all these young people are like making like 10k for an hour, do you know what I mean? And I want to really like open up a space for like older people to step up now and start claiming your you know, we we want your wisdom. And there's and there's a whole community that is waiting. waiting Waiting to work with you so I've created this whole online program which is also going to be you know um I will I will also do other stuff like live as well with with the people that sign up for that but that's really exciting as well isn't it like just opening up this whole um you know because so many this like loads of people are retired hope you get so yeah yeah that's what I'm up to, guys. That's basically it. And, and what I've decided is that this is so deep. What when the when the central school starts, my my I've got a really really strong download that I have to just like that. There's a there's a particular piece of writing. Time for you. Thank you. Sheila would be amazing at what? Sheila would be amazing at what? Heather. I'm just going to like pick out bits of this and speak about it and we can all ask questions and we can talk about it and we can really really get deep into the teachings of this because this is really the spiritual core of who I am isn't that amazing for me to have this very very um, wonderful alignment and understanding teaching in your program oh yeah Sheila yeah yeah hon like I've got loads P Patricia even you, sweetheart. I mean, I've got all the, it's all digital. So it's like, teaches you how to create meditations, teaches you how to create a Facebook group, teaches you how to host a round table, teaches you how to create a beautiful um, piece of art on Canva, like a promotional piece of art on Canva, like, you know, marketing. I've got this course, I've done everything that's made, got me to where I am. And, and then I'm going to also share you with you a little bit about um, how to, because the, the the, the sort of coaching that I'm talking about is like Christ consciousness coaching. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what basically what it is. Christ consciousness coaching, like, and so, so, all, so it's like understanding that whenever someone comes to you, you recognise the Christ self in them. That's the that's the role of the mentor. You recognise the Christ itself in them. So you have to do the work to under, to activate that Christ flame within you. So that when the, you know, that person stands before you, you recognise them. It's going to be open to everyone, but I haven't launched it. It's just sitting there, hun. This is what I'm saying. I've got all this stuff and it's all just sitting there. And I'm, I'm like, I'm not sure what to do right now. Maybe I'll save it. Like, I'll just launch it at the, um, for the um, uh, membership. Maybe that's what I'm meant to do. Just launch it for the membership. Whoever, whoever joins the membership can, um, you know, get the course or something. I don't know. So there we go, guys. That's my message. Um, nothing else to say. Oh, 8-8, eight, eight, that's coming up. That's going to be next level. That's on Monday, isn't it? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's all about the crystalline light body. You do know that, don't you, guys? We've got to do big, big work with the crystalline light body. All about the crystalline light body right now. 
and um, all the codes that are coming in are massively supporting us with the uh, transformation into our crystalline light body. So that is going on and yeah, just putting it out there. So you can work with that energy on a very, very, very uh, accelerated level at the moment. I think you'll know more by the 8-8. By the eight eight. I'm off on the 8-8. Eight eight. The the eight eight is about is about DNA. It's like it's a DNA upgrade basically, and it's working with the the Lyran constellation, um, with the with the feline DNA, which is really really the source of our spiritual power, and um, and, and self love. You know, it's like the cat, the feline, that part of us that is just so deeply, deeply, deeply sovereign and powerful. Oh, that's so wonderful, Lucy, darling. So, um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So it's going to be a lot to do with um, just, just working with our consciousness to open up. the Because our DNA is just a bit like seeds. And with our connection, we've got to like link up with it. That's how you activate it through your consciousness. You link up with it. And then we, we turn the seeds into flowers. That's what we do. That's our work. And so then we, you know, we raise our vibration. We... Um, are, are beings of love that's what it's all about it's just beings of love we're just here to love just love love take no shit and love that is it there's nothing else god wants like take no shit and love and enjoy the moment it, cherish the moment and i say that to myself beloved I say it always everything i say for all of us so there we go there's the book Love Signs, Linda Goodman. Shh, massive thick book. How many pages? A thousand. Oh my god. A thousand. One thousand one hundred forty-seven pages. Take no shit and love. That's it. Love, love, love. That's it. So anyway, guys, you say you know. One day, I think I'm going to get a social media manager. I could, I, I could, I've got to do better than six views on Instagram, don't I? <laughs> that's like, that's really quite something. That's really quite impressive. <laughs> so i think i think i've just got to just surrender go I, I have not cracked the instagram code and um we're gonna get we're gonna get assistance so so i don't know i might i, I might have to I, I i think i'm gonna keep this account as my personal account and i think i'm gonna set up a brand new jen mccarty ascension whatever ascension acceleration instagram and you know that's what i'm gonna do it's no reflection to you sweetheart no i know i don't it's hilarious heather it's it, you know it's quite impressive you know that something so beautiful so transformational so of the crystalline highest order and it's like but there isn't there's more than six people like there is i know there is everyone say hello please just say hello because they i think they just mess with the numbers Everyone just like, I mean, I don't know, interact. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is going out on a quantum level. We all know that, brothers and sisters, and it doesn't matter. But I do know that my mission is to reach more of my human brothers and sisters, obviously. Do you know what I mean? So, no, non-attachment, this is, this is transmitting on the deepest deepest crystalline in this a8 portal this is this is transmitting on this deep crystalline um you know I feel like we're in this like um like a, like a cylinder actually like a crystalline cylinder this is like a very very strong portal that we're in everyone so on that note i'll see you all on the a8 and um god bless us all